Chief Meteorologist Bill Kelly joins us again with the very latest and to go over Milton's impact since making landfall. Yeah, and it's amazing that Aziza found her from Siesta Key. That is where that landfall occurred, and I fear for those homes, and there's a lot of them there uh, that are on that key and around that entire area because that's where the storm surge uh, is the greatest. Here's what it looks like out right now when we're looking down on the map. The outer reaches all the way here to my feet up into parts of the basically the panhandle region just slightly north, but the heart cutting across Florida and that will continue to roll through that area through the overnight hours. By tomorrow morning, it will push off here into the Atlantic and then eventually it's just going to move out that direction and, and not turn around and come back up and impact us. Uh, let's talk about the storm surge for just a moment. Let's drop this map and uh, show you specifically what we are looking at uh, when it comes to this uh, around Florida. Got an update for you from the uh, National Hurricane Center and they still have a 9 to 13 foot storm surge pretty much where that made landfall. Tampa area has been dropped 3 to 5 because it's on that north side, the left side. So a lot of the way they basically sucking some of that water out of the bay, but everywhere here where it made landfall, Sarasota, Siesta Key, down through Fort Myers, all this area tomorrow morning when we start to see the pictures, not going to be good. And then it moves across. And there's actually storm surge flooding going to be on the eastern side as the waves behind it and as the water pushes behind it as it leaves. All right, so let's take some time to talk about our local conditions. We've been focusing a lot on that. It's quiet night out tonight. It's uh, Route 40. A lot of folks out and about just kind of cruising around your drive tomorrow. No problems at all. You're going to want your light jacket or your sweatshirt before you make your way out. We're going to say 48 degrees, 7, 8 o'clock in the morning. That's our forecast low essentially for tomorrow morning. Nothing but sunshine tomorrow. You're going to want your sunglasses and even the sweatshirt potentially in the afternoon. We're going to get that reinforcing shot of some cool air tonight and that will keep our temperatures down in the upper 50s and low 60s for your day tomorrow. In fact, that's what it looks like in Philadelphia. Let me walk you through the entire region. Talk about the high temperatures for tomorrow. Here's what you can expect. Shore locations are going to be in the mid 60s. We'll say 64 Surf City. Same thing with Atlantic City. There's the 63 we talked about in Philly up and down I 95 63 Trenton 63 for you folks in Wilmington back here in the Lehigh Valley going to struggle to get out of the 50s. We'll say 60 degrees for Allentown Pottstown right around 61 Lancaster Berks County into the low 60s as well. All right, so that is your day tomorrow. Sunny and relatively cool. A couple things I want to talk about. First of all, check this out. Rainfall chances. Where is the rain? No rain at all the next several days. It says zero. Our Next maybe chance is going to be Sunday night into Monday with another passing front, but we have not even had an inch of rain since September 1st, the third driest ever recorded in that same time period, and I just don't see any rain on the horizon. It's, it's amazing the difference between locations where Tampa got a foot of rain today alone. So here's our low temperature trend. Notice 47, 48 tomorrow. We'll say 44 on Friday, bounce up a little bit for the weekend, and then it drops back down into the 40s on Thursday. Tis the season. This is our weather story for the first time this season really feeling like fall. Let's put it all together with your seven day forecast. Talk about those details. There's your 63 temperature for tomorrow. We'll go into the 60s again on your Friday. The weekend looking fabulous with temperatures in the mid 70s for your Saturday and into your Sunday. Then again, we will watch Sunday night and into Monday. Another cold front. It'll drop our temperatures pretty significantly as we roll into your Monday. And then we're back down in the 60s for you. Low 60s on Tuesday and Wednesday. But once again, it is a fairly dry forecast. It's been quite the run. We will take it for sure and just continue to think about our friends and family down in Florida. And hopefully uh, when we get the news tomorrow, see off of, a lot of people have taken that warning, weren't there, and maybe it will be better than we think, but we'll just have to see.